Concatenate happens to be one of my favorite functions, and quite simply what it does is combine strings of text together. Now, it doesn't have to strictly be text. Don't think of it in those terms. It can also be numbers, but it's not going to recognize those number formats like currency or accounting. It's simply going to, or date, it's simply going to take those numbers at face value. Let's go ahead and let's do one real quick. We have two columns here, first and last name. We have a number of our employees, and I would like to concatenate them or join them together so that they are in one column, and it is simply show up in the first example here as Simmons, comma, space, Brian. So what I'm going to do is go to my formulas tab here and start with the insert function button. Now when I click there, it's going to open up my insert function window, and we'll see that I can choose from a number of different categories to look for that function. That helps narrow it down because if you go through and scroll through all of the functions here, and there's close to 350 of them listed, it might be a little bit hard, especially if you're not exactly sure what the name of the function is that you're looking for. Now, concatenate happens to be in the text category, so we can look there for it. And rather than going here, let's go ahead and let's cancel that. I also wanted to show you that those categories exist up here as well. And there's my text category, and there is the concatenate function. That's what we want. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and either type in the text that we want to concatenate, or I can select the cell that it exists in. Now, if I'm trying to concatenate with something that I don't already have a reference to, that's great. Go ahead and type it. But why go through that? Always use those cell references when you can. I'm going to select that first cell, Simmons, and you'll see it shows me up there what's happening. Now, here's something that I want you to be aware of. In text 2, rather than selecting A2 here for Brian, I'm going to put in a comma and type in a space. Then in text 3, I will choose Brian. And see now, Simmons, comma, space, Brian. If I don't go ahead and include a space or that comma, it's just going to go ahead and run these all together. See, if I go ahead and get rid of this, see, it's just showing like that. So let's get back there and choose OK. And there we have Simmons Brian. And now, because I use those cell references, I can go ahead and use my autofill. And I get everybody. Let's do another one. Let's go and say that I want to concatenate oh, something like this. Let's just get a couple of numbers here. And maybe I need to add zeros to the front of them. Now, you saw me. I typed in four zeros, but when I got out of that cell, it only gave me one. But maybe I needed four zeros. Well, go back home, and you have to format that as text. Otherwise, it's going to revert to just one zero. So, And this one, you'll see, is formatted as a number. But again, it's not going to pick up those zeros. It's only going to read this as text when we concatenate. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. We'll go to our text and choose concatenate. We'll select the first one and the second one and see exactly what I told you. Because this was formatted as text, it was able to grab all four of those zeros. And because this is still read as text, even though it was formatted as a number, it dropped off that dot zero zero at the end. And that's how easy it is to use concatenate. It's a great function, and like I said, it's one of my favorites. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.